the royal family have combined huge sums of inheritances, crown estates and allowances of several generations which has been passed down to create an extensive net wealth. Royals are born into a family which comes with many benefits, one of which is an easy access to power, prestige and immense wealth. While the British royal family does receive money from taxpayers, the majority of their net worth comes from their own means, inheritances and more. But how has one of the youngest royals come to be worth more than all the rest? The younger royals, particularly Prince William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, and Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, have long had a huge influential effect on the masses. These royals are often icons in the fashion world and anything they wear can become a cult fashion classic immediately. But shockingly, despite being one of the youngest members of the royal family, Princess Charlotte, is worth the most of her royal family. While her older brother, Prince George, is worth around pound $2.84 billion, $3.6 billion, she was reportedly worth pound $3.95 billion, $5 billion, the year after she was born according to a report from Brand Finance. This figure is very similar to that of her mother, Kate. However, her aunt Meghan, who has inspired the Meghan effect is instead thought to have brought in pound $119 million, $150 million, in revenue for the country. Brand Finance Communications manager Sarsar War told Insider, these numbers are projections of what the royal children could bring the UK economy in their lifetimes, assuming they will continue to have the same positive effect. In a statement in 2018 Brand Finance CEO David Hay said, the royal children have a positive impact on the sales of particular clothes and toys brands they wear or play with. In this sense, they have a very similar effect on brands as their mother, the Duchess of Cambridge, who has a real Midas touch. Everything she touches turns into gold. Charlotte's high value is largely in part due to her fashion influence. In fact, it has led to the coining of her own term, after her mother's Kate effect, hers is called the Charlotte effect. This was shown when a yellow pastel patterned cardigan worn by the princess from a popular British department store sold out in 24 hours. The royal children have the potential to drive billions in sales and therefore their net worths have been determined as so. In a podcast called Pod Save the Queen hosted by Anne Gripper and regularly featuring Daily Mirror royal editor Russell Myers, Daily Mirror fashion editor Amber Grethland described the effect the royal children have had on the nation. M's Gripper said, We know that there's a Kate effect, and it became clear very quickly after the arrival of George that there is a Kitty Cambridge effect. What do we see in the Cambridge children and how has that carried over to the high street? M's Grifland added, As you would expect, Kate does dress her children in a very traditional style. Charlotte is the queen of the little smock dress and the cardigan, and she always looks very cute. It's not that surprising because you would expect them to dress in quite a formal way. What is interesting is how everybody latched onto that instantly, overnight, from the very first photo. You had people like George at Esda producing children's clothing that featured the smocking, the little Peter Pan collar, all the influences, from, what you saw the royal children wearing because there is a huge demand for it all of a sudden. In 2015, Brand Finance valued the annual contribution of Princess Charlotte and Prince Go urge to the UK economy at £101 million and £76 million respectively. After the young royals, the next highest value royals are the Queen, Prince Charles, Prince William and Prince Harry and Prince Philip. Queen Elizabeth II is approximately worth £435 million, $550 million. The Queen's eldest son Prince Charles reportedly has assets which total around pound $1.03 billion, $1.3 billion, but reportedly his net worth is around pound $79 million, $100 million. 